Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about a very important topic called levels of measurement. So levels of measurement. So levels of measurement are a way to further break down and classify data. So the first level of measurement is called the nominal level. So nominal level. And nominal, these are just basically pure categories. So pure categories. So like brand of shoe, brand of car, they're pure categories. And there's no natural ordering for the categories. So it cannot be ordered. So categories and they cannot be ordered, like flavors of ice cream, like chocolate, vanilla, etc. There's no, there's no natural ordering for these categories. The second level of measurement is called ordinal. Ordinal, these are still categories. So these are still categories. So they're not numbers, right? You can't add them up. You can't perform math operations with these. So they're still categories, but you can order them. So can be ordered. Simple example of ordinal would be, would be something like performance at work, bad, okay, good, right? Bad is less than okay, which is, which is less than good. So categories you can clearly order. Three, the next level of measurement is called interval. This is probably the trickiest one, interval. So these are numbers. So these are numbers. So we're finally in the realm of numbers. But the key is these numbers are special. Zero is not the starting point for these numbers. So there is no true zero. Okay, there is no true zero. So zero is not the starting point for these numbers. So the main examples we'll see in this uh, online course are temperature. So temperature, because uh, zero is not the coldest it could be, right? Because you can go, it could be negative five degrees outside. Or time of arrival, right? Time of arrival or departure. So uh, time of arrival. Because zero hours in military time is, is not the starting point, right? You can go before... Uh, zero hours, right? So time of arrival and temperature, those are the two main ideas, two main ones we'll see uh, for interval. And then the last one is ratio, ratio. So these are numbers, so these are also numbers, just like interval. These are numbers, except in this case there is a true zero, so there is a true zero. There is a true zero in this case. So zero is the starting point for these sets of numbers, okay? So like cost of a house. It might not be zero, but zero is the smallest it could be. It is the starting point for that number. So any type of cost uh, would, be, would be ratio. Let's do a couple examples uh, so you see how this works. So EX means example. And the question will say to identify the level of measurement. So level of measurement. Let's see, A, um, let's do brand, brand of shoe. Brand of shoe, like Nike, Adidas, Reebok, except Puma, et cetera. <laughs> uh, so brand of shoe, this is a, a pure category, right? So you can't order this at all. So the answer here would be, would be nominal. So nominal would be the answer. So pure categories, so nominal. Nominal would be the answer. B, how about uh, temperature? outside. So temperature outside. Well, temperature, uh, well, that's up here, right? Whenever you see temperature, boom, automatically you know uh, it's interval. And the reason is zero is not the starting point for temperature, right? Because um, temperature could be negative degrees. So it could be negative. So it's interval. Okay, so whenever you see temperature, automatically you know it's going to be interval. Okay, always. Uh, let's see. C. How about... Um, cost of a cheeseburger of a cheeseburger cost of a cheeseburger so any type of cost uh, is always ratio because it could be zero right zero is the starting point for cost so the answer here would be would be ratio that would be ratio okay let's keep going d d how about this one movie movie ratings and the way movies are rated in this problem 
is we have one star movies. I just wanted to draw stars. <laughs> Two star movies. And then three star movies. That's how you draw a star. It's uh, 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 uh. And then there's no four star movies. So one, two, and three stars. So obviously a one star movie is not as good as a two star movie, which is not as good as a three star movie. So there's a natural ordering. And so in this case, it would be ordinal. And notice you can't do math operations, right? If you take a one star movie and you add another one star movie, you don't get a two star movie, right? Two bad movies don't make a better movie. <laughs> so uh, you, can't, you can't add up the, um, the ratings. E, let's see what else. Ooh, how about this one? Number of questions. So like how many questions you have. Number of questions on exam one. Number of questions you have on your first test. Um, so in this case, uh, it could be zero questions, right? That'd be great. Uh, zero is the starting point for this set of numbers. So in this case, it would be ratio, right? It would be ratio. It would be ratio in this case. Um, how about uh, F? So A, B, C, D, E, F. Hmm, what else can we do? So we've done nominal, we've done interval, we've done ratio, we've done ordinal. I think we've done all of them, so now it's just extra practice. How about this one? Time, Julie. Time Julie arrives to the wedding. Yep, she's going to a wedding. So time Julie arrives to the wedding. So it's time of arrival. So there is no starting point for time of arrival. Zero is not the starting point. So in this case, it's going to be interval. Remember, whenever you see time of arrival or departure or temperature, it's always, it's always interval. Let's do another one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. How about this one? Time. <laughs> this one's evil, so it might not be interval. Time. Bruno leaves the club. This would be a time of departure. Right? Time, time he leaves the club. So again, this is also, this is also interval. So it still was interval. Okay. H, H, how about this one, time, it takes to eat a pizza. So the time it takes to eat a pizza. So this one is not interval. Just because it says time, it doesn't mean it's interval. Remember, it has to be, it has to be time of arrival or time of departure. So this is a length of time, right? So it could be zero. Zero is the starting point. So this is actually ratio. So be really careful with that. So time it takes, length of time, uh, zero is the starting point uh, for that case. So I hope this video made sense.